Good morning, everyone. On behalf of the class of 2023, I would like to thank all families, friends, faculty, alumni, and distinguished guests for joining us in celebrating Mercer University's 152nd commencement ceremony. It is an honor to be celebrating this milestone event with you all today. Congratulations, fellow graduates. Today is a day of celebration, a day to commemorate all the hard work that brought us to this moment in our lives. All the classes we attended, the homework on the weekends, late night cramming for the exams that we took, all the papers that we wrote, all that is over now. The way John Stewart describes the world in front of us is funny, but true when he says, the truly exciting thing about your life now is that there's no core curriculum. The entire world is an elective. Today is a day of thanks, a day to thank those who helped us get, get here sitting next to us. And our heartfelt thanks to those who may not be here, but are so worthy of our gratefulness. Thank you for nurturing us, for teaching us, for encouraging us, and for believing in us. Today is a day of reflection. It marks the end of one era in our lives and the beginning of something new. A future known to us, as well as a future unknown. This transition point in our lives reminds me of a famous book quote by Mark Twain. The two most important days in your life are the day you are born and the day you find out why. Our journey to find out why took place over the course of the past four years at this great institution with these great teachers behind me and behind you. They will forever be a part of our lives, guiding us in our thoughts and influencing us in our actions. Thank you, Mercer University and faculty. Thank you for giving us the environment to learn and develop our minds. Thank you for welcoming us into a community and culture that cherishes exploration, personal growth, and self-discovery. Over the course of the last four years, I grew to realize that our journey at Mercer was much more than just to improve our intelligence. They were journeys of character development, forming friendships, some for life, and unearthing our purpose. For many of us, myself included, it was also a voyage of discovery on how to be more social and less nerdy. <laughs> the journey that began for each of us here at Mercer sets us off on our own individual paths now to grow and develop and contribute in those areas that have the greatest personal meaning. And for many of us, to contribute to the betterment of our world. Bettering our world was my late grandmother's wish for me. I'd like to share a little bit about a journey I took with my family when I was only eight years old, which ultimately led to my attending Mercer University. The trip began in 2009 when my parents decided that our family would visit the Middle East, specifically the countries of Jordan and Palestine. They wanted my sisters and I to get to know our relatives. Equally important, mom and dad wanted us to learn about the different cultures, religions, languages, cuisines, all the beautiful diversity our world encompasses. Now, although we thought our trip would last no more than a year, it turned out to be a seven-year experience. Over the co course of those seven formative years, I grew very close to my grandmother, Mukarram, who left quite an impression on me. During the many conversations that I had with my grandmother, she would always say, Abdul Rahim, when you grow up, strive to make the world a better place. Come to think of it, her advice sounds very similar to Mercer's motto. At Mercer, everyone majors in changing the world. It was as if my grandmother was foreshadowing my, journer, my joining the Mercer family. It was my heart's desire to fulfill every one of my grandmother's wishes. So I nodded and said, yes, grandmother, though I was too young to understand truly what she meant. That it was her heart's desire to see the lives of all people made better. 
That was the kind of woman she was. Those seven years were truly foundational for me. For our journey to the Middle East had forever changed the lens through which I viewed and considered life around me. I became aware that the world was not ideal or planned out as I thought it was. My perspective broadened. Global causes mattered as much as local ones, and when I returned to Atlanta during the sophomore year of my high school, I began getting involved and have remained involved with Mercer's help. We all have heroes in our lives, the people who inspire us and act as guideposts as we find our way, helping us to discover our purpose and find our path. Think for a moment who that person in your life is. It could be a relative who gave you your first job, or an older sister who always had your back no matter how badly you screwed up, or a high school teacher who introduced you to scientific thinking. My father is that hero figure to me. I strive to have his character reflected in my own throughout the course of my life. My father came from Palestine during a very difficult time in that country's history to this beautiful nation. He came alone and with nothing but a suitcase, a jacket, a little bit of money in his pocket, and a student visa. His dream was to go to college to seek knowledge and personal growth, just as we have here at Mercer. He wanted to make the most of himself in a country where anything is possible and anyone can succeed if they have vision, conviction, and determination. To me, my father, Dr. Taufik Kamari, symbolizes that belief. From the day I learned to walk, he instilled that drive in me to follow my dreams, stay focused, be patient, but remain determined. I vividly recall my father repeating a, repeating a saying by Prophet Muhammad whenever my days were difficult during my college years. He would quote the Prophet by saying, Abdul Rahim, no two things have been combined better than knowledge and patience. I'm sure we're all happy to see that our patience has paid off by our being here today in our caps and gowns. You know, I can't help but be optimistic about our future. As we set out on our own chosen paths to discover, as Mr. Twain put it, the second most important day in our life. Believe in yourself every step of the way. Don't give up on your deepest interests and dreams. Seek purpose and meaning in your career, and nothing, nothing will ever stop you from finding personal happiness and fulfillment throughout your life. Congratulations, class of 2023. Cherish this day. I wish us all the best, and go Bears.